Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Uh, Google losing a major antitrust battle with Epic Games. The one and only Steve Kovac is here to break down what happened and maybe debate with us. About yeah, we'll figure we this one this out. Jury is right. After yeah, all. let me let me set the stage and then we'll, okay. we'll chat it out here. But look, a jury ruled last night. Google it has monopoly power over the App Store. The verdict comes from a case brought by Epic Games. That's of course the company behind Fortnite, and it caps a three-year legal battle between those two companies. Epic Games in 2020 sued both Apple and Google, claiming they held monopoly power over their app stores, which let them squeeze app companies for up to 30 percent of their sales. Epic CEO Tim Sweeney cheering the decision calling it victory over Google on X last night. It's the company's first major legal win in its years-long fight against Apple and Google. Now, after this week's-long trial featuring execs like Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai and Epic Sweeney, it only took the jury a few hours to come back with a unanimous verdict against Google. Now the judge in the case will decide what the punishment for Google will be. At risk, that slice Google takes from money spent within apps distributed through the Google Play Store. The judge will make that decision after the new year. But it's going to be a long time before Google feels any pain, if it even happens at all. A Google exec telling us in a statement it will appeal the decision, a process that could take years and could even go all the way to the Supreme Court. And guys, speaking of the Supreme Court, we're expecting to hear next month whether or not uh, it will take up the case Epic mostly lost against Apple. That was back in 2021. No matter how these cases shake out, though, it's going to have big implications for those lucrative app ecosystems at Apple and Google guys okay so let's let's just break this down yeah what do you besides having a jury was that's the big difference by the way which is the biggest cases. it's the oh. same fundamental thing right so was there any right was but was there anything distinctively different about this case a little bit. So you, you mentioned this earlier. Android's open in the sense that it does allow other app stores, unlike the iPhone. It does allow you to go straight to the Internet and download uh, apps to your phone. So there is some of that. But what also has been happening is Google you know, claims they're open and all this stuff. They found different ways to kind of close it down, like cutting deals with phone manufacturers to right. make sure that Play Store is the default to make sure Google services like Maps and Gmail and so forth are the default apps. So there is a financial incentive for, let's say, your Samsung making a Google phone. You would love, to, they do have their own app store. They would love right. to continue that, but it's more lucrative for them to play along with Google and use those services instead. So that's part of it too. What and that's are the, what the, what are the chances at. though that this, I mean, this decision obviously will get appealed, but to the extent that it will have a crossover impact on Apple right. or, or other companies. Yeah, and this is a separate case. Well, these are two separate cases over a similar right. thing. So it's kind of unclear. Like, let's say the Supreme Court takes it up in January and then they argue it and you know next summer we get a verdict in there. The question then becomes does that impact Google as well because these yeah. cases are so similar or does the Google one have to go right. through the process as well? That's unclear. We also got to talk about the EU because this is already going to happen in the EU next year. That Digital Markets Act that is going to go into effect in March for these companies Apple's going to have to allow other app stores on their phone, that, and it's going to be interesting to just see. Just when you're in Europe, or what just, that's that's what it sounds like they're doing. That they might have like a separate version of iOS. We don't know for sure. We're going to see how they get around this, but a separate version of iOS that allows this stuff. Microsoft is giddy over this, by the way. They want to open an Xbox store on iOS. Their executives have been talking about this. Epic last night. Tim Sweeney saying on uh, X also that they're excited for that as well to uh, put their apps in different. App stores. Do different iOSs exist for different no. continents at this point? Like no. this would be a brand new. How do you figure this out? And where, where are you sleeping when you're when the download comes through? Exactly. This is a, it would be a huge technical challenge. But you've got to understand if Apple does go that route, instead of making it a universal global change, you can understand why. They're, the App Store, the margins are so good that it's so profitable for them, especially on gaming like on Fortnite. That it you know it's probably it behooves them to carve out Europe separately from the rest of the world and fight right. this country by country. Well, the other thing Forget is, this is going to be... Exactly, right. <laughs> but now we will have the, the, the in-the-wild real tests of whether what Apple's been saying all along... Security, privacy. Is real, right? right. And so we're going to find out. It'll be, it'll be a natural experiment. You'll the, see if the phones in the U.S. don't have all the same problems right. that the phones in Europe have. If the phones in Europe don't have problems, 
then Apple will have lost that argument. If they do have problems, then people are going to say, you know what, I'm so happy that they were doing it this way the right. whole time. And Apple's whole stance is, you know, these payment systems that we use within apps, you know, this is secure, this protects you, helps you manage your subscriptions better. Basically saying, you know, going on the internet is dangerous to put your credit card in there. We do that all the time. By the way, they don't say that about when you use the Amazon app right. for to buy toilet paper. They only say it when you buy Robux or something on within the app. That's that's where they're. You could be skeptical of that and naturally skeptical of that. Steve Kovac, breaking Thanks, it down. Thank you, sir. Thanks.